What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and I'm just playing Highlander with the Purple Pansy on the test server. So this is not 299 cards, and it looks like we have Good Decay coming up. We have Blade Husk and Rod Eater. Um, I'll sack the Ranger Spain because we have no growth in our hand. So 299 cards in each deck, and all the new cards that just came out yesterday. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, hmm. I'll get rid of the Echo Maton. Shrine can be pretty useful. Alright. I've never seen this card on the field. Actually, no, I have. Looks kind of weird. Looks like some, like, paper mache -ed. I guess, husk. Alright, so I'll go Rodier next turn. Yes, he is no creature. Um, ooh, Reaping Mask. Are we going to go up to 70k? We might go up to 70k. Um, there we go. Now, if he burns me, I will be upset. So, if you don't know, Highlander is where you have one card of every single card in the game in your deck, so... That's why there's 299 cards in the deck because there's 299 different um, cards. And he plays Hired Marksman. This is a new card. I was playing with on stream yesterday and it is really good. I like it a lot. I uh, didn't think it was that good when I was uh, doing my review on my review of all the squirrels video yesterday, but now I realize it's actually amazing. So we have a nice order trend now. Um. I have to remember this uh, rod deer is, I mean this blade, this blade husk is not relentless because it, we didn't destroy metal yet. So, and maybe I'll just sack for order next turn and play a shrine the turn after. So I like it how now you could see easier like what they sack for because it like shows like, oh, sack for resources and it highlights. All right. Machine Priest. Uh, Blessing of Haste. Do I want to do that this turn? Uh, one, two. Yeah, I want to do Blessing of Haste this turn. Okay, so we'll go like this. Aha. A Highlander. Okay. So Pansy is streaming right now, but I minimize so I don't I don't wanna watch his hand. I don't wanna card snipe. Alright, so Real Vanguard is good, but I wanna play the shrine. So I'll sack that. Healthier guys. Yahoo! Okay. He gets an eternal statue out. And supercharged. Okay, so that thing is going to destroy the shrine if I don't do anything about it. Oh, we get an infected grave lock, so. You could take the front of the damage, infected grave lock. Alright. We have Forge in hand, but we have no energy, so I don't know what I want to do there. Okay. He hasn't really gotten much on the board yet. Should I start just going for the Forge, or should I sack for cards? I will go for cards. And we can't play anything. Uh, I'll go ahead and destroy this. And we're good. All right. So he's going tricolored now. Um, I think I'd start going for energy so I can play the Boom Reaver. Rocks. I also have Bloodline Taint. That's nice. I don't think I'm gonna magma pack, but I will go for energy. So doing lots of damage here. It 
let's see if he can get anything out. It's really all about the luck of the draw in, in Ultimate Highlander. You just have to hope you have, like, lots of creatures that you can work with. Um, now, I want to be able to destroy anything he puts down, so I'll space my guys out like this. So now I will be able to attack things wherever he puts it. Alright. Waking Stones. Let's see. Waking Stones and Tribal Memorial. Okay, well, let's just sack for energy. And now we'll play a. I'll just move down, destroy that idol, hit this thing twice, and play what? A uh, forge, I guess? So now I'll be able to pump that thing almost every turn after I play this Boom Reaver. Alright. So I have a Bloodline Saint and a Boom Reaver, two things I could use. And he puts a resonant helm on that thing, so he'll get some order from it. Fine. Sudden eruption. That could be fun. Oh, I don't want to sack. Uh, sudden eruption. Because I want to be able to pump this thing anyways. And we can play a Boom Reaver and a Bog Hound. So again, I'm going to space my guys out. So that I can... And this Bog Hound gets to have four attack. And now I'll have a Boom Reaver. Man, this is fun. Alright. Like, sometimes I play Highlander and I get, like, crap. Like, nothing good. <laughs> but this time we're getting a lot of low-cost creatures, a lot of decay. It's very nice. I, I, the Dominion already worked with this guy. So now he's 4 attack. Um, I can't move. Wait, what did he just do? Roasted Bean Potion. Oh, we put it on this. Okay. No, we put it on this. Why do you give Roasted Bean Potion this? Why do you give Roasted Bean Potion to this? Now I can move. Now I can move with it. What's the point of that? I can still sacrifice, deal two damage. Beetle Stone is cool, but I'll sac for energy. Uh, decay now. Um, I'll just, I guess, just attack normally. I'll place a pest dissimulator down here. Very fun. And Pansy sacks for scrolls. Yeah, so now you can see like it's highlighted down here when they sack for scrolls. Playing on the test server. Um, as you probably know, because new cards like this, this this pertinence will sack for cards draining mist that guy's gonna have four attack next turn we have to assume that because um chances are he doesn't play anything else energy this turn uh well sadly i'm not going to be able to uh you can only damage this once every turn because both of these things can't move it's very hard for me to break in there. So I'll just, uh, attack. You know, I'll just drain this. I don't want him doing anything. So. I shall go like this. There's two idols down. That thing is resonant helps. I don't know if I'm ever going to get through that thing. Maybe I should just start attacking this idol down here instead. Alright. Now... Hmm. 
potion resistance on that guy, so that guy's not gonna be killed. I'm not gonna be destroying any of this stuff. Uh, can't really do anything. Oh, pull on Tamek's curse and curse two is just so if I curse to him and then sacrifice him, he dies, right? He should. Well, that's what I'm going to test, and I'm also going to go for energy so I can play the clock library. So I'll go bloodline taint, and oh, I want to get the buff here, so I will do back. Oh, I forgot. All right. Forgot about the potion of resistance. Ah, everybody always forgets about potion of resistance. It's definitely like the number one forgotten thing in scrolls. Uh, unleashing her power, oh my god. Don't tell me he has a piercing projectile. Okay. Sack of the awful cards. And we got a wing spear, cool. Um So I guess I'll just put as much damage as I can on this. I will pump that. Um, you have nine, I'll let you hit this. Uh, make sure you get the buff. Alright. Man, we got a pretty good draw, this uh, Highlander. <laughs> We've been able to be at like three uh, order decay and energy. Mostly decay, I've got a lot of nice decay cards. All right. So I don't have any growth, so eventual that is probably gonna be sacked. Ooh, it's a bunny. Purple Pansy loves his bunnies. If you didn't know, he is the uh, he's a member of uh, Rats and Bunnies, and they love playing with bunnies in the bunny game mode. So this is a new card that uh probably is uh, going to be played a lot in the bunny game mode. <laughs> Bounceful times. I wish it was like like a rat king bunny, a bunny king. Just summons three bunnies. There's three bunnies here, right? One, two, three. Oh no, everything gets hurt. Uh, do I go for growth? Nah. Potion and flip. Um, can I win? Oh, GG. Yeah, GG. Which is potion, and then we'll flip that. Alright. I got, gotta use up my energy. Rematch. Alright, we'll see if he wants to do a rematch. Alright, yeah, because my Highlander was kind of unfair. I got such a good draw. And let's see if Pansy gets a better draw this time. Here, I assume he'll just challenge me. Okay. Highlander. Okay. Up. Oh, looks like I got a. I gotta get to get a, get a turn two blade husk again. What are the chances of that? There's 299 cards in the deck. I'm gonna get another turn two blade husk. Or I might go forth energy with the Hellspear Mortar or growth here. Growth could be good. Hmm, tough. Do I go bitter root blade husk? Or Vetter Ranger when I can. 
I'm gonna go bitter root blade husk because better is going to die and I want I don't think getting extra growth is gonna be that huge in this in this format um, it's just gonna die I want the creature so blade husk is cool uh, underground is cool also but whatever I'll just stack that Turn to Blade Husk again. Oops, sorry. I tried to do a winky face, but I failed. Now, um, maybe I'll start going for growth. Sorry about that. My mom was calling to tell me that school is canceled for me. Uh, school is uh, canceled for me again tomorrow. So on Mon on Monday I had no school because uh, it was makeup test day. On uh, I'm rec I'm recording this Tuesday night and there was no school today because of a snow day. And they just called off school for tomorrow when this is being uploaded. So Wednesday there's no school because um, it's still snowing <laughs> so that's pretty awesome more scrolls for me more testing more playing live and ranking up on both my accounts even though number one still on my main my I took a big hit on my alt account I'm back up in top five though on my alt account so right now I'm number one or number five I think and I still want to keep testing in this and keep getting gold for when the patch actually hits so he does have a husk to protect and supercharged that could be a problem that could be a big problem uh, yeah he could get this thing to really hit the idols down if I can't deal with it that would be pretty bad because the supercharged uh, makes it deal one range attack and that will do the Plus five uh, damage it does when Sage Archer deals damage to idle. So should we go for order? Nah. We're definitely not going to be able to get this Imperial out. Oh, maybe we should go for order. So I could just... So he just destroys the idle now, but oh, I should have moved him down. So he took the uh, damage, the, the uh, little damage from the supercharge and he didn't get to destroy the idle. But I was thinking about monsters brooding this, so then the monstrosity is probably better than it, so that's probably what I should have done. I don't know. Hopefully we can kill this this turn with our life stealer. Uh, I think we're gonna go for order now. I will Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for order. Okay, now he gets that thing out. And I'll, I'll play Wings Warder and then Royal Skirmisher. Oh, you know what I could do? Here, since it's attacking next turn, I'm not going to. Uh, look, I can kill it. Yay, I can kill it. Never mind. I was thinking about. Uh, I'll move you up so I can kind of chase you down. I was thinking about, like, putting Soldier's Bond on the Life Stealer. So then. I can move my guy in front of the siege cracker when the supercharge goes off so every time he could just like attack every turn and what's behind it would attack but uh he allowed me to kill it he didn't if I were him I probably would have protected it with this because the the uh, siege cracker can really like do a lot of damage to those idols All right, so now he is dead basically so it could be time to just play the monstrous brood or maybe I'll do that next turn Um, so I'll go up here. Yeah, I'll just take the four damage. I'm not gonna play the monstrous brood yet, and I can play wings warder or soldiers bond on this thing maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play soldiers bond. I don't think he's really gonna. Actually, no, he could have a lot of spells. I'm actually gonna, but I can't even put it on the road because I already moved my guy. 
so I'm just gonna do that. I could put wings, uh, soldiers bomb there, but it's just gonna be destroyed this turn, and I don't really care. This guy's attacking next turn anyways, and this thing is going to be monstrous brooded soon, so I get a monstrosity instead. All right. Efficiency, so he's just gaining some ramp now. I'll be able to kill that. Fertile soil, I don't think I'm going to be doing, but I will play a skirmisher. So I will go monstrous brood. So I turned my searing shackled thing into that. I'll keep you separated so you aren't like sparkable. And there we go. Looks like I am having luck this match also. Like last match, the RNG does love me. Okay. Now, I guess wings border for next turn. Ah. I wonder if you could... I bet if I played wings border, he wouldn't be able to cast it there. Not sure, because decimation is a spell. But you can still cast it clicking on one of your own side's tiles. So I guess it would work. Uh, should I plating? Nah. Roasted bean potion, maybe? Anybody? Let's go ahead and... Wings warder. So now... I'm threatening the whole board because of this monstrosity and this life sailor up here. So wherever, wherever you put something, it can get hurt. Oh, you know what I just noticed? When I killed that replica time before, he had three energy, so he has he definitely has a replica time in his hand. So we have to notice we're probably gonna play that. The reason he didn't play it last turn is because No, you killed my guy. So I guess he just he has a lot of energy scrolls right now, so that's why he's not playing it. Um, I'm gonna play the Divine Morph because that's really good in this format. Um, because it's hard to come by good creatures. I think I'm gonna play the Divine Mark on the Life Stealer because I have five decay, and if he dies, I want to get him back. And I'll just go for mid. And I have a roasted bean pushing up my sleeve so I can kill stuff next turn. Alright, he gets an ether pump. So now, I'm not going to go for growth, I think. Because we still have a lot of order. Or actually, maybe I will. Uh, no. I'll sack this there for cards. Let's get something to decay, please. Nah. So I'll just go roasted bean potion, I think. Heal this guy up. And maybe I'll finish it off with that next turn. Very fun. Very fun. Now, next turn, I guess, Wing Shield, maybe I Thought Trip or Frost Wind, I don't know. Depends on what he puts down. So neither of us have gone into, like, any growth, both, both Highlander matches so far. Well, there's the same amount of cards in each faction. I think it's 225 for Ordered. Decay and growth, and then energy is I think 222 or something, so it's like three behind in cards. It'd be cool if one of us gets one of the new legendaries out. Okay. What? <laughs> wow. I've been screwed over by end of reason a lot lately. Um. So now I will go ahead and. Sack for cards. Oh, nice. I have good draw, though. Uh. 
So now you can attack anywhere. I'll put my life stealer down. And a spearman or a wing shield. I think I want to get the spearman down first. Make sure they're separated a little bit. I never know what he's going to do. Okay. Okay. So now you're not going to do anything. Ooh, new roof less seamstress. We're at 5 decay. I think we want to get there. I think we want to get there. Uh, I'll sack the thought trap. I think Frostwind is going to be better. For decay. So now I'll play. Uh, I'll just move it in so I can start killing things. I'll play a husk in the back. And I have humans, so I'm going to play a royal banner now. I'm just going to play a wing shield. Here, so I'm gonna put this guy here. So which, either way that this guy runs, I'll have something to be able to kill it. Oh yeah, he's gonna be surprised when he sees that new roof flesh seamstress. And I'll have Frostwind and Royal Banner for the next two turns. Useless contraption. Soul steel. Nice. Uh, I think I'll sack the Frostwind for, well, of course, Decay, because I want to play that next turn. And now I'll go four, and then three, no, four, and then two, yeah. Oh, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't go four and two, because my guys are placed like that, because I'm st stuck. If I go like this, no, I can't, yeah, I can't. That works. And I'll make sure this guy has three things behind it. Royal Banner. I have all the humans. And you don't. And I have a new Reflesh Seamstress for next turn. <laughs> new Reflesh Seamstress. Infectious Blight. No. Not my, uh... Roasted bean potion to guy. Replicant. He, he keeps getting that replicant. It's very good for Highlander. Wait. Doesn't the wings banner? All I get counts and increase by two after attacking, but he didn't attack. Wait. Why is his. It says plus two after attacking. He was just. Oh, that's kind of weird. Maybe a bug? I don't know. So, now he's going to be shocked. Sorry, bro. New Reflesh Seamstress. Ha! <laughs> okay, so now I'll move down a little bit. Destroy an idol, so now I get dominion effects, which is undead creatures can create a plus one attack. That husk is for attack now. Awesome. <laughs> New Reflesh Seamstress. Got that in Highlander out. How am I get at 8 decay in 3 order? I swear I'm playing like. I'm gonna get like a Harvester Tempo theft soon, with my luck. Okay. I can't Soul Steal anymore. I have a Meyer Curse, but I'll sack that. Okay, I'm gonna go like this so I can destroy that. This will be fun. Fleetness Nuru <laughs> Flesh Seamstress. I'll have three hucks attacking every turn. This is gonna be awesome. It's gonna have one countdown, three hucks every turn. Alright. 
This guy's infectious blight, right? That's why I took damage. Yep. And they have four attack because of the uh, pillage. I mean the dominion. Uh, do I win? No, I don't win. Should I start going for growth? Eh, I don't know. Right now would be a good time to destroy this. So I'll use my soul steel. That has four attack also because that's undead. Uh, and I could efficiency something, but there's no point. I'm not killing anything. So let's see, I'll go... I think I'm going to go 2, 4, 4, and then I'll put 4 on that idol right there. And I'll have that thing going off every single turn. Twelve attack every turn. Man, my luck in this Highlander. The last Highlander too was pretty lucky. There was like a Highlander tournament a few weeks ago that I didn't uh, play in. I should play that. <laughs> okay. So now you have infectious play. All right. Nice. They all spawn over here. Is that GG? Uh, let's see if I can do anything else though. Alright, so now I will go like this. Efficiency. GG. Boom. That was fun. Highland and Tessa with all the new cards. New Reflash Seamstress with Fleetness uh, is so good. <laughs> wow. Alright, so uh, I think that's going to do it for uh, the video, so I think that was a nice fun video instead of all these like ranked matches I've been doing lately. I mean, yesterday's test laser was just kind of just like an update video, so this is kind of a fun video. I sh I'll try to do more of these in the future with fun game modes and stuff, and uh, thanks for watching. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want more content, and I've been streaming a lot more on Twitch lately. Like I was four hours yesterday, three hours... Uh, Four hours on Monday, three hours on Tuesday. I have no school on Wednesday, which is when this video is uploaded, so I might be streaming while you're watching this video. So uh, make sure you follow on Twitch as well, and Twitter, because that's when I say I'm streaming and stuff. So I'll see you all uh, next time. And goodbye.